Joining us now is Jeremy Ortiz. He is the talent acquisition manager at Bush's Fresh Food Market, and he's with us now on the Megacast. Jeremy, thanks for being with us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So over at Bush's Fresh Food Market, much like uh, other retailers uh, and a lot of other businesses, uh, throughout the state of Michigan, all around the U.S., you are looking uh, to fill a lot of jobs at this moment in time. What sort of opportunities are available over at Bush's uh, and, and what kind of areas for people and where in the state of Michigan are those jobs available? Yes, absolutely. Thank you for asking. Uh, we have a, a plethora of jobs, just like any other retailer. Um, we're doing fairly well um, across the board, but we do have a significant amount of, of openings for uh, full-time positions right now. Um, oddly enough, it's, it's, it's one of those things that we typically don't have an issue filling, um, uh, but it's one of those things coming up to the holidays that people are looking for more things, and, and uh, we have part-time that are splitting jobs right now. Um, so full-time positions across the board are, are what we're trying to fill right now, and we have them open at almost every single store. We have 16 locations across Southeast Michigan, um, one of them uh, in the West Bloomfield area, uh, right off of 14 Mile. Um, they're, they're looking to hire roughly about 10 associates, um, uh, anywhere from part-time to full-time, even have a couple management positions open. Uh, pay starts up to fifteen fifty an hour. Um, it can go up to twenty-five dollars an hour, depending on the on the position that they're looking for. Um, other jobs across the area, we have a two, we have a, a couple of uh, corporate office positions open. One marketing uh, coordinator position uh, at our corporate office in Saline, which is where I'm, I'm I'm at right now. And we also have another uh, corporate office position for a facilities project coordinator. Um, at the Ann Arbor office, which is about four miles away from where I'm at, but a half a mile south of uh, the Univer University of Michigan uh, football stadium, the big house. Um, and it's at the corporate office right above the Main Street store. But um, other than that, you know, part-time jobs ranging from uh, produce department and cashiers and guest service clerks to um, uh, meat cutters and assistant department managers and department managers across uh, all locations. We're joined by Jeremy Ortiz, Talent Acquisition Manager at Bush's Fresh Food Market, joining us today on the Megacast. And so, uh, uh, Jeremy, we knew in the past months it's been extremely difficult for a lot of businesses in many different sectors, so private and public, uh, to be able to hire staff to fill the needs, particularly full-time, but also those part-time jobs as well. Have you found in the last several weeks or last couple of months as we've gotten out of the summer and, and back into the fall and as things have sort of changed in some ways but not in others with the pandemic that it's gotten easier or has it really stayed the same in terms of uh, the efforts for uh, hiring staff and being able to fill those positions? Sure, yeah, good question. It's It's been an ebb and flow. So um, we typically see trends and follow trends in, in recruiting. That's kind of how it works for us, forecasting from previous years. Um, the past two years have been somewhat of an outlier for us, not being able to trust the data. Um, but going uh, off of last year, I mean, we're, we're skyrocketing through the roof when it comes to overall headcount, um, applicant flow. Things have been going pretty good for us. We see ups and downs and dips and in, 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 uh, uh, peaks here, here and there. Over the past few months, it's been fantastic. Um, getting about two to three times more people in than what we did the previous months before that. Um, we're seeing a little bit of a dip uh, the past couple of weeks, but going into the holidays, I'm, I'm assuming that we're gonna see uh, a little bit of a spike. People wanna make that extra money, um, and we actually have those positions uh, open seasonally as well. So, so anybody looking for positions across the board, um, uh, I have numbers here uh, that are right behind me. Uh, the tech jobs number 734-228-1314. Um, and we also have QR codes all over our stores um, for anybody interested in working as well. We're joined by Jeremy Ortiz, Talent Acquisition Manager at Bush's Fresh Food Market. Joining us on the Megacast, talking about many of their uh, open opportunities for employment across the board, uh, both in their stores, also at the corporate offices, as Jeremy mentioned earlier on, and of course, uh, as, as he showed earlier, the visual there uh, with the phone number and a text number. So you can find more information uh, as well about those open positions. And so, uh, Jeremy, what's been interesting is that there seems to be two schools of thought in terms of uh, the higher in the staffing crisis that these businesses are in right now. One school of thought is that there is a staff, there's a worker shortage. There aren't enough work, people that want to be in these jobs, uh, and so it's difficult for businesses to fill them. On the other hand, it's also from the uh, candidates' side of the coin. Their thought is that the opportunities there are not 
are either not lucrative enough, they're not in the right work environment, they're not getting the correct benefits or, or wages that ultimately are beneficial to them to come back into the work pl work work play, uh, workforce. And so we're seeing this situation where businesses that are kind of adapting and going in the middle ground of that are having a much better opportunity to fill the positions they're looking for. And businesses that are sticking to their guns and, and are really just not being uh, adaptive in the situation are continuing, are continuing to struggle or maybe are having some semblance of luck. In terms of what you found it with the candidates that then do come in for interviews, do have mm -hmm. successful interviews, do end up taking these jobs, what have you found that they are looking for and how does that ad adjusted, uh, led to you adjusting your approach uh, from Bush's to the hiring process? Sure, I mean, it's a great question too. Um, realistically, there's a lot of different things that people are choosing to to take jobs or leave jobs right now. One of the biggest things that we see that that, that our associates, the ones that are coming on board with us, um, are they're leaving the, their workplace. They're leaving their culture, the, the bad culture. They're leaving the areas that they don't feel that they need to work anymore. They have the ability to kind of go where they like to and make that personal choice. Um, it's it's up to them now. It's not 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 fighting to find that job that to pay those bills. They're they're actually looking for what they want uh, personally um, for themselves or for their families. What's going to benefit them the most when it comes to to pay um, overall compensation with benefits and other ancillary benefits. Um, it's going to work best for their families. And I see that, you know, specifically in our management areas, um, people are leaving jobs where they're working 60, 70, sometimes 80 hours a week. Um, and they're taking a step back and saying, hey, why am I doing this? I'm, I'm not spending time with my family. I'm not, I'm not getting the vacations that I need. I'm not taking the time away from work that I'm actually earning. Um, and we want to help provide that, that benefit to them. And so that's kind of where we see a lot of people coming to us um, or even coming back to us saying the grass wasn't necessarily greener. Um, you know, the developmental process here was much better, more organized, more resources, um, better benefits. Um, the big thing right now for us is a push for benefits. We have fantastic benefits. Um, we pay premiums for all of our full-time associates that work for us. There's nothing that comes out of their pocket for, for medical dental vision. Um, we have tuition reimbursement. We've adapted and added a whole bunch of other types of insurance. We have pet insurance now. Um, we have uh, essential worker voluntary benefits where they get discounts on cell phones and, and uh, 10 or $20 tickets to Broadway shows in Detroit, um, at the Fisher Theater, to, to a whole bunch of other things too. There's other there's other opportunities that people come here for, uh, culture and lifestyle, um, uh, volunteering events that we have, places that we give back to, education, um, and things like that. We're joined by Jeremy Ortiz, the talent acquisition manager with Bush's Fresh Food Market, joining us today on the Megacast to talk about their hiring opportunities and their staffing situation at this moment in time during our continuing COVID-19 pandemic. And so, Jeremy, uh, you mentioned earlier you have some opportunities specifically for the holiday season. I, I do know that Bush's has, uh, like many different retailers uh, and many different uh, grocery markets, they have modified hours at this time. Well, those modified hours continue through the holiday season and how may that impact uh, both business uh, from your side but also the customer side of things as we approach the holidays here in November and then in mid to late December as well. Sure, so we'd like to keep a fairly consistent structure. When COVID hit, we had to change our hours significantly to, to, to benefit the populations um, that were older, that needed to shop during certain times, and also benefit the communities as well. So we, we actually have an operational hour of 7 to 9, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. every single day, all stores. That's not going to change throughout the holidays. We want to make sure it's consistent for our associates that are working for us. They're getting home to their families at a decent hour um, and able to come into work uh, at not 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning you know, drop their kids off to school, pick them up from school if they need to. But uh, from a shopping perspective or guest perspective, um, we want to keep it simple. We want to make sure that it's consistent across the board. Everything that you see advertised now for Bushes in terms of, of uh, operational hours is going to stay the same through the holidays. We're joined by Jeremy Ortiz, the talent acquisition manager with Bush's Fresh Food Market. Joining us on the Megacast, uh, Bush is a, uh, a locally owned chain of 16 grocery stores, including locations here in West Bloomfield, where we originate our broadcast, but also throughout southeastern Michigan and places like Rochester and in Novi. And so uh, as we're going through the hiring process in, in so many different sectors, one thing that's uh, been consistently d discussed when talking about the hiring situation are the benefits or other uh, or, or, or um, 
other incentives that are being provided in the hiring process are being listed in order to attract some of these employees that may otherwise have overlooked these job opportunities or may disregard them for better opportunities that, that are out there. Uh, what has Bush has been doing in order to provide, in terms of providing those incentives, what are available, what benefits may be available for some of these positions that are currently open at this time? Uh, benefits for, 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 for our company um, have been something that's been talked about since we changed our benefit packages a handful of years ago. Um, we have uh, medical dental vision, um, which, is, which is a big ticket for us. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a fantastic plan. We go through Priority Health. We offer um, all of our full-time associates. Uh, uh, the manager, managers get, get uh, benefits day one. Um, all of our full-time associates get benefits the first of the day for their 68th month, so two days in. Um, that includes dental, um, uh, vision, and health. Um, the premium package that we have, uh, we pay what we call flex dollars to all of our associates. Um, it's nothing that comes out of their paycheck. It's something that they technically earn um, for their benefits. Uh, they're not charged for it. They're not taxed on it. Um, and that goes directly towards their premium. So nothing comes out of their pocket for their premiums for medical benefits. Um, also, the other thing is tuition reimbursement. Even part-timers, we, we, we provide them with tuition reimbursement um, to go to any school they feel uh, is beneficial to them, um, along with uh, uh, other things that we have partnered with through the state. Um, we have, uh, I believe, over 20 associates right now taking advantage of the essential worker program through grocery workers uh, that, that legislation has passed for, grants for them to go to school for anything they would like to. Um, our tuition reimbursement covers up to um, 50 percent for part-time or 75 percent for full-timers and if you're management or in the corporate office management management system we pay up to 100 percent um, that includes grad school and undergrad um, and it does cover anything that's related to our business from from agriculture from culinary to facilities to it hr marketing um, finance you name it it pretty much runs the gamut across the board um, other benefits that are that are key and crucial we have matching 401k six percent um, to anybody that comes within our company uh, we have uh, associate um, uh, allowances for, for emergency funds. We have adoption assistance. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that we can offer um, to, to help benefit uh, anybody looking, part-time or full-timers to come in. We're joined by Jeremy Ortiz, the Talent Acquisition Manager at Bush's Fresh Food Market, joining us today on the Megacast, a locally owned business since 1985, over 5,000 Michigan-based products in their store. And so uh, it is a locally owned chain. It is a it is a local small business in, comp in comparison to some of the other bigger grocery chains that are throughout the state of Michigan. How does that change both uh, the opportunities that you're able to provide to potential workers from here in the state of Michigan or others that may come in. And on top of that, how does that change the work culture? How does that make it differ, different uh, with Bushes than it may be in, in some of the larger chains that people may have similar job opportunities with? I think the biggest thing that sets us apart is that we're, we're a, a family owned and, and, and privately held company. The same family owns this, this business that's owned it since day one. Uh, John Bush and his two brothers have been the proprietors of this business um, they're still embedded into the communities that our stores are in. They're embedded into the business itself. Um, uh, one of the, the family members is uh, Christy Hash. She's the director of our, our human resources department. She's my supervisor, um, uh, and she is she is part of the family. And then there's other family members involved in the business. I think that the biggest thing that sets us apart is the family atmosphere that we have, um, the work-life balance, the, the culture that, that we set um, day one, letting people know that we understand if you have other things outside of work that need to be done. Um, we, we, we express uh, imperatively in everybody that comes on board to let them know that uh, we want you to spend time with your family. We want you to do those things with your kids. We want you to do those things with your spouses. Um, we want you to spend time with holidays. We get Thanksgiving and Christmas off, um, something they add in the past couple of years. It's, it's little things like that that make a huge difference across the board. You see people in the corporate office like myself, the CEO, the director of HR, um, the, the VP of marketing, the SVP of the company, they're, they're walking around stores all the time talking to our associates. We, we have luncheons uh, every quarter. We just got done with two luncheons for, for, for the HR team um, that we did with associates in the stores just to get ideas from them you know, on culture, um, to get ideas from them for recruitment, hiring strategies, and things like that. What are things that are going good? We take that feedback and put it back into the stores. You know, They ask, we listen. Um, it's, like, it's what we like to say. We want to make sure that they understand that we're part of 
uh, they're part of our family and part of the business. So I think the biggest thing that sets us apart compared to other larger chains is just, just the atmosphere in general. Um, there are a lot of people that come from larger chains where they're they're working 60 or 70 hours a week, and that's not the expectation here. In, in the office, even if you're salaried, the expectation is 45 hours. You go anyplace else um, and you're making salary in retail, you're looking at 55 to 65 hours plus is the minimum expectation. So um, operationally, we're, we're, we do fantastic, but it's, it's the big thing that sets us apart is is just the atmosphere in general. So um, coming on board, making sure that, that you're one of uh, 1,600 associates, but um, out of those 1,600 associates that you still get treated like an individual, not just a number or a group. We're joined by Jeremy Ortiz, Talent Acquisition Manager at Bush's Fresh Food Market. Joining us on the Megacast, Bush's with a number of different job opportunities available in their uh, more than 16 grocery stores all across the state of Michigan, including here in West Bloomfield and Rochester Hills and in Novi, and just a few of those in our immediate coverage area on the Oakland County side of things here on the Megacast. And so, uh, Jeremy, lastly, on the COVID-19 front, um, because that has a huge impact on whether people want to seek jobs in certain places and, and as we're seeing, especially lately with vaccine mandates, mask requirements, other precautionary measures being taken by a number of different private and public entities, it has an impact on whether or not people stay at those jobs or continue at the jobs that they're currently at. What are the current uh, precautions that are in place at Bush's uh, and any requirements for vaccination or precautions such as mask wearing uh, in your stores and in your offices? Sure. We go off of what the CDC and the state recommend. Um, we've been doing it since day one, since Jump Street, when, when COVID first started happening, we had um, shut certain a ton of departments down just to make sure in terms of close contact and touch points. Um, we still have people that clean touch points every 15 minutes in our stores. We brought an outside service in to start doing that. We've trained our associates on how to do that. So they're going through and doing that in the stores every 15 minutes, every door handle, every case, everything that anybody touches on the freezers or anything in between. Um, that stuff is being cleaned. Uh, recommendations from the CDC uh, and the state is, recommend, is recommending that you wear a mask. Um, if you're able to, if you can, uh, regardless of vaccination status, that's what we live by here in the office and also in the stores. Um, there is, we, we've had vaccination clinics throughout our stores over the course of the pandemic, um, flu vaccinations as well, and a handful of other things coming up um, to kind of help combat, uh, hopefully, you know, this, this uh, helping end the pandemic as much as we possibly can. Um, but everybody is uh, in accordance with what CDC and state regulations are across the board in all of our stores and offices. We're joined by Jeremy Ortiz, the talent acquisition manager at Bush's Fresh Food Market. With us on the Megacast, Jeremy, just now a couple of minutes before we'll say goodbye today. Anything else that our audience should know or uh, potential employees that may be looking for jobs or looking at op job opportunities with Bush's should know before we say goodbye? Absolutely. Um, you know, just in, in, in finishing up the, the cast here, um, I want to thank you very much for having us on. Um, the biggest thing is that we want everybody to know that the jobs are open to anybody. You don't need a specific background. Um, orientation or education to work in, in retail. Um, it, it can be a career path. It's something that we have people in our offices and in store management positions that have worked for us since clerk level positions and have graduated and been promoted into um, department management, store management, and even corporate office management. Um, it is there, there are opportunities for careers. We have people that have been with our company for over 35 years. We just celebrated a, an anniversary dinner that we had at the Henry Ford a few weeks back where we had over 250 associates celebrate at least five years with the company, um, a large portion over five and 10 year. And then we had another uh, roughly 75 associates that have put in uh, 15 plus years with the company. So there are opportunities here, um, regardless if you start off as part-time, there's gonna be full-time opportunities in the future. Um, it's a fantastic place to work. The culture is great. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, of people uh, ranging from 14 and 15 year olds all the way up to 70s and 80s that work for us. So there's quite an array of people. There's a lot of a lot of fantastic personalities and people that you meet. Um, the environments are clean and safe. Um, we, we put emphasis on making sure that people feel the way they should feel at home at our, at our stores. And that includes our, our guests that come in and shop. And just to let everybody know, the West Bloomfield store is finishing up their remodel here within the next month or so. Um, it's adding more square footage, new lighting, um, new sanitary precautions, new bunkers, new cases. Everything that you that you see in that store now is going to be completely done. Um, we have one more store left out of the 16 that we've had. We've remodeled most of them the past few years. We've put Starbucks into them, so we have Starbucks opportunities across the board in five of our locations. Um, and we have apprenticeships available for meat cutters, um, and then we have developmental programs from assistant to department managers across the board. Um, outside of that, 
um, like I said, we want to say thank you for having us on. Um, but if people are interested in, in, in applying, um, there's a few different ways. Um, you can text the word jobs to 734-228-1314. Um, we also have QR codes in our stores on the doors and up front. Um, we periodically have open hiring events for scheduled interviews. Um, we have job fairs and things like that throughout the year. Um, and then lastly, uh, the website is uh, www.bushes.com slash join our team. That's our careers page. It'll show you all the openings that we have across the 16 locations in Southeast Michigan. Well, Jeremy, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much. Have a good day.